I move, everywhere I move, move on McDonald's. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! What's up, Payton? Um, Lexi, you know, hit me up earlier today and was like, hey, like, can we like make something like funny or, or stupid for him? Uh, just cause you know, he's, you know, dealing with COVID right now, which first of all, like, please get better, my guy. Um, you know, I'm not sure like how your symptoms are or anything like that, but whatever the case is, you know, I hope you're able to get better soon. Hopefully I'll see you by New Year's. Um, but if that's not the case, you know, whenever afterwards, you know, we'll see you soon at the least. Um, but yeah, figuring out something, uh, she was like, you know, made just like a quick video of you doing something funny or stupid for him just to cheer him up. And I was like, yeah, I think I can do that. Um, so over here, I've been contemplating on what I want to do. Um, just had to watch that painful loss to NC State. So that kind of took up some time. But I was thinking about it and I was like, all right, you know, when we think of Peyton, what am I, what am I thinking of? And I'm thinking, well, Peyton's like the wise guy in the group. Like if any of the boys or any of the farmers like need advice, like they go to Mr. Curran. So then I'm like, all right. If he's the wise guy in the group, then he's kind of like a dad in the group. And I think other guys would agree with me on that. So you are the dad of the group. And I'm thinking, all right, funny, stupid. So I came to the conclusion that I'm about to hit you up with some dad jokes. Okay. Take these as you will. If these are going to make your life worse, please cut this video off. Like I just, I would ask you to do that. But they're going to be painful and hopefully you find some amusement out of that but i'm going to read like the five best ones i could get off the internet again take them as you will let's jump into it okay the first one here we go so um it, it goes i dreamed about drowning in an ocean made out of orange soda last night it took me a while to work it out that it was just a Fanta C. Very nice. Um, this this one will hit home for you. This has to do with um, with your favorite beverage. Um, how does Moses go about making his coffee in the morning? He brews it. <laughs> um, yeah, again, if they're painful, man, shut this video off, bro. Okay. Um, what was the other one? Uh, this is like a conversation between a dad and their like child. So the dad goes like, you know how scuba divers sit on the edge of the boat and then fall out backwards into the water? Do you know why they do that? And the, the child responds, no, why? And then the dad goes, if they went forward, they fall into the boat. <laughs> Yikes. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Um, what was oh this one um i just swapped our bed for a trampoline this is like a married couple my wife hit the roof all right this is the last one i'm gonna hit you with um so at work we have a printer and we've nicknamed it bob marley it's always jamming all right that's gonna do it for my dad jokes again please get better uh we'll see you soon um, but you know, enjoy being home with your fam. Um, I don't know how Lexi's going to put this together, but if I'm the only one making this video, I'm sorry. Cause the quality of the content might not be there, but get better. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Each year, a few thousand people attempt to hike the entire Appalachian trail. They do it for the adventure, for the challenge to discover America to rediscover themselves. This was my journey. What's up, Peyton? Merry Christmas. I, uh, I know this isn't the Christmas that you thought you'd be having, but I just want you to know that I love you. I uh, hope you're doing well. I'm excited for the wedding in a couple days. Um, I hope your quarantine has gone well. Uh, I hope you watched the movies that I told you to watch. Uh, it's okay if you didn't. I'm still gonna talk to you about them. Uh, but I hope you have a great day, man, and enjoy celebrating with your family in a few days. And yeah, I'm excited to tear it up at this wedding with Logan in a couple days. So Merry Christmas, Peyton. Love you, bro. What's up, Peyton? 
What's up, Peyton? Just hanging out here in the Montana Ski Lodge with my gloves on. Um, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, we we really appreciate you at the farm. I'm sure you know that. But uh, I'm always looking forward to your daily offerings of coffee. Um, and I love that we uh, agree on our love for Taco Bell very frequently. Also, I think you're the only other person who enjoys Master of Disguise. It may be Josh, I'm not sure. But missing you, dude. Uh, hope you get better really, really quickly. Um, love you, man. Oh, hello there. You sneaky bastard. I didn't see you come in. Ick Ben Josh. Payne, I'm sorry to hear that your Christmas isn't going as planned and that you've been feeling a little under the weather. I know that must be tough. Just know that we're all thinking of you and praying for you as well. Hope you're able to watch some good movies and maybe your family's able to bring you up some uh, Christmas food and dessert. Um, but at any rate, I've got to get back to studying so that I can beat you in the next game. Um, but until then, whenever you come back up to Chapel Hill, I'll bring the line. Just make sure you leave the corona, okay? Anyways, bye, bitch, and Merry Christmas. mate covid uh covid's tough but you are tougher you are a history buff so buff covid cannot take you down we love you mate praying for you hope you can turn this thing around you got it see you bud Hey Peyton, sorry to hear you're feeling under the weather. Uh, just want to let you know that we are thinking about you and praying about you um, and looking forward to seeing you soon. So hang in there, man. Baby, can't you see I'm calling? A guy like you should wear a warning. It's dangerous, I'm falling. There's no escape, I can't. P Rad. Peyton, my man, or Alexi's man, I should say, but I'm sorry to hear that you have COVID and are feeling sick. I hope this video cheers you up and that you know that a lot of people love you a lot. It's been fun getting to know you this semester, and I'm excited for you and Lexi. You're good for her. Feel better. I've tried this like three times, so I'm just going to say Merry Christmas because I can't get through it without laughing. I'm sorry you're sick, but I hope you enjoy watching this video. Hey Peyton, it's Lainey. Um, here to just say that we are with you, that I'm praying for you, that it would be a speedy recovery. Lexi told us about you being sick um, and just know that you're in our prayers and I'm so thankful to have gotten to know you this semester through Lexi um, and really, really grateful to be your friend. And so I'm looking forward to seeing you soon and praying that you'll be able to be with your family soon. And Bye. So sorry to hear you've got the cocoa, but hope, you know, we're thinking of you and hope you're finding lots of fun things to do, I guess in your room um, and hope you're still able to have a very Merry Christmas. But yeah, now we're thinking of you and hope these videos help cheer you up. We love you, Peyton. Hey, Peyton. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry you have COVID. I just wanted to say I have appreciated getting to know you this semester, and I've appreciated your funny, dry humor in ways, and how it's been just like nice to have you around the house and hanging out with all of us this year. Merry Christmas. Just wanted to send you a little video, letting you know that I love you, and I'm praying for you. Hey Peyton, what's up man? Uh, sorry to hear you got COVID, but I wanted to wish you a, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I hope you get to feeling better soon, and uh, maybe the boys will be the Aggies too. Thanks for all you've done over the past year, uh, not only as a Bible study leader, but as a friend, and I um, hope there's many more memories to come. Hey Peyton, this is Jeremy. I'm really sorry to hear everything you're going through. I uh, wish I could be there for it. Actually, maybe not, but you know what I'm saying. I um, hope you're feeling not that bad. 
But as a word of encouragement, um, we had a little Bible study thing, and you were definitely sorely missed. But you came up in one of the conversations where we were like trying to like figure out a question or something, and we were like, "Oh man, where's Payton? When we need him, we can ask him." So you're definitely a great role model, and you know a lot, and we all look up to you. So that's a word of encouragement. But hope you're doing all right. What's up, Mr. Curran? Just want to let you know that we're praying for you. We missed you. We hope you feel better soon and got to get you back on your feet. Uh, yeah, we got to get our, our sexiest hooper from the 252 back in action. All right, yeah. Well, miss you. Love you. Get better soon. What's up, Peyton? It's your fearless crew leader, Riley. As you can see, I'm repping the company right now like a company man. Uh, you might be wondering why I have a little hair antenna going on here, but just cause uh, got a little workout in, had to pull the hair back. But anyway, just wanted to say Merry Christmas and so sorry that you're dealing with the Rona right now. Um, I know it's gotta be tough, just longing to be with family, longing to see friends, and I'm just really sorry you're having to deal with this sickness and it's hampering your plans, but just wanted to offer you some encouragement and hopefully cheer you up a little bit. Um, also with the heels losing to NC State, like I'm still frustrated about that too, so I'm sure it only compounds issues, but um, just wanted to say grateful to get to know you this past semester and to talk hoops with you and to crack jokes about Justin, of course, and I just hope you have a quick and speedy recovery and that you get to feeling better pretty soon. So appreciate you, dude. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Hello, Peyton. What's up? Um, currently, I am standing outside of my grandmother's townhome in Apex. We're painting nutcrackers uh, because those are the types of activities that you do with your grandma. Um, but I hope this video cheers you up. I'm sure that it will. I'm sure your friends are freaking hilarious in it. You have a great girlfriend. Um, and I'm thankful for the way that you treat her and that I've gotten to know you better over the past few months. Um, I'm excited for next semester. I hope to play a lot of spike ball and body body and random things, but hope this cheers you up. <laughs> hey Peyton, um, I hear you have COVID and I'm really sorry. That is no fun. Um, but hopefully while you're in quarantine, you can listen to lots of Leonard Skinner and get all your future classroom lesson planning done. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you, you know, get some good rest. Um, you feel rejuvenated after two weeks um, going under and that you have a very Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, praying for you, friend. Hey Peyton, hey Peyton, how you doing buddy? I heard you got the Rona. Uh, we hope you feel better. Um, we wrote some jokes to help you out. So Bethany, you got a joke? Um, how was the Roman Empire cut in half? Oh, with a pair of Caesars. <laughs> Not good enough, okay. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, Bethany, where was the Declaration of Independence signed? Hmm. At the bottom? <laughs> Still not enough, huh? Still not enough. Okay. Uh, we got some songs for you. Bethany, what you got? We just want to sing you a little Christmas ditty, you know, starting off with, um, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? Felix Navidad. Felix Navidad. <laughs> Felix Navidad. Hospero something Navidad. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, how I love your branches. Where are you, Christmas? Mm. Why can't Holy. I find you? Peyton, hold on. You? I, think it, I think it's snowing. Oh, my gosh. I got your window, bro. It's Christmas. Miss you. Let me go.
hey Peyton, uh, I was told that you had COVID and uh, that things might look a little bit different this Christmas. Uh, so just wanted to to tell you that we love you, thinking about you this Christmas and uh, here at the boat dealership trying to buy me a new boat. So Merry Christmas. Everybody say, hey Peyton. Hey Peyton. We're so sorry to hear that you're sick, but we think that some virtual Christmas caroling will cheer you up. All right, guys, are you ready? Huh? Away in a manger, no crib for a I can't remember. Here, it's okay. I'll help you. All right. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. Can we sing We Wish You a Merry Christmas? Put your happy face on. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Isaac, can you say Merry Christmas? Beep, beep, beep. Libby, say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We hope you feel better soon, Peyton. Singing in the kitchen, Family. running through the yard. Hey Peyton, it's Mr. and Mrs. Lawson. We really enjoyed having you and sorry we had to cut our visit short. We hope you have a very Merry Christmas and um, we're excited about getting to know you better and we enjoy you so much. Hope you feel better, bud. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Sorry you had to leave as quick as you did, but look forward to seeing you again soon. Merry Christmas. began, I was writing my valedictorian speech. I concluded with a statement told to me by a wise man. I would like to begin my video with the same statement. I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf, and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time given us. So Peyton, you're wondering during quarantine what to do with the time given you, and so here are my suggestions. Wallow in self-pity, stare into the abyss, solve world hunger, tell no one, jazzercise, dinner with yourself, and wrestle with self-loathing. I'm just joking, but I would like you to know and remember that we are blessed to have people in our lives that we miss during quarantine, and even though it feels like you're all alone right now, you're not because you have our beloved Savior living inside of you. Merry Christmas in the most ironic way possible. Hey, brother, there's an endless road to rediscover. Hey, bro, not sure if this is going to make it into the uh, videos because I always turn this stuff in late, so I'm getting this to Lexi late, too. Uh, but one thing that i was thinking about as nicole and i were isolated earlier is the fact that if you've got people who are sending you videos now that you miss seeing and things that you miss doing that you normally could do um although it sucks in the moment it's sort of like an indication and an encouragement that you're that you're doing something right um so that may not mean much to you but uh, it was definitely really encouraging to Nicole and I to, to think and talk about that. But um, Sunday will be here before you know it. We'll see you soon. And uh, use extra time, spend some time in the Word, some extra time in prayer, uh, stuff that you feel like you don't normally have time to do. All right, man. Love you, man. Bye. I'll always be the man that home made. Home made me love a dirt road. Home made me crave some ice cold. Home made. Sweet tea, only mama knows how to make. Merry Christmas, Peyton. Merry Christmas, baby. Uh, you've been here five days. I've talked to you like a total of 30 minutes, it seems like. 
but you've had Mission Impossible with a projector, all the movies you can watch, and fast food almost every day. But God is good, and you're coming out of it, and we'll see you to celebrate Christmas with presents after you get back from Chapel Hill. And we're not doing anything Christmassy without you. Love you, baby. Love you. Hey Pay, this is me getting COVID tested again. Yay, so fun, so exciting. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video of all your friends trying to encourage you and pep you up. Um, it was fun to make, I had a great time doing it and getting to see all the sweet things that your friends have to say um, about you and that was really fun for me. But I just want you to know that I am so thankful for you and to get to date you is such a joy for me. Um, and. I can't wait to see you soon when you're all better. Okay, bye. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas.